very much, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, thank you at first to uh, Professor uh, Chandra Muzaffa to invite here such an excellent uh, conference. And I also appreciate all of the panelists and audiences to join to the Rhodos Forum 2014. It is an excellent and very profound thinking uh, panel, I think. And uh, I already put my abstract and uh, PPT and my paper, so perhaps uh, some of the, uh, you uh, get that. Um, but I also slightly changed my uh, presentation about uh, uh, completely uh, to fit uh, this panel uh, for the solution of war uh, and conflict, reconciliation of Europe and Asia. Uh, comparing the difference of the U.S. strategy. Um, I'd like to speak about the uh, German-Franco uh, reconciliation and the conflict in Japan, China, Korean uh, territorial dispute and so on. Now I'd like to start. <clears throat> yes. Um, uh, there is a three focal point for uh, comparing the solution of war and conflict uh, about the reconciliation in Europe and Asia. Uh, the difference of American strategy uh, will be uh, very important. And the first one is a uh, number of dead of Second World War uh, and uh, effort uh, German Franco reconciliation. And uh, in Asia, uh, nothing such about that. The second is American strategy to the uh, rule of uh, the region uh, comparing uh, Europe, uh, South Asia, and uh, East Asia as well. And the third is the future uh, power shift and the importance of knowledge, uh, training young leaders. Uh, it is a very important uh, thing in the future. Sorry. Yes. Um, right. Uh, the power shift is already starting uh, from developing country, uh, de developed country to emerging power, and from military to uh, economy and knowledge. So that's why the important thing is uh, training uh, young leaders in the future. Uh, this is the number of dead in Europe and Asia in the Second World War. In the Second World War, so many people died, uh, 33 to 37 million people in Europe and uh, 18 million in Asia. Um, the most biggest uh, sacrifice in Soviet Union in Europe and China in uh, Asia. And Europe is double more number people dead uh, than Asia. But uh, reconciliation with enemy started in Europe, uh, especially German Franco effort after the World War, uh, make peace, uh, 70 years peace in Europe. But in Asia, there is a big conflict is continuing. Um, generally, it is uh, misunderstood in Japan. Europe is homogeneous and peaceful society, so that's easy to reconcile. But Asia is heterogeneous and uh, has many conflicts. That's why it is impossible to reconcile. But all of you know it is not true. More than 30 million people died in uh, Second World War in Europe, half of that in Asia. Russia is 20 million and China is 10 million. Uh, such a under uh, the strong uh, reflection of death, uh, devastation, Europe started to reconcile and to institutionalize a European Council and European Union. So the German Franco reconciliation, German Polish reconciliation, German Israel uh, reconciliation, and now uh, started uh, intermediate German uh, Russia uh, collaboration and reconciliation 
might be very important. Asia has to learn from such a German effort, I think. The institutionalization of containment of war and conflict uh, after the Second World War was very important. Condition of peacemaking, uh, there is a three point. One is a reconciliation with enemies, and second is a, a co-management of uh, energy, coal, oil, and nuclear power. And the third is a collaboration with enemy, uh, guarantee of no more community. Uh, so uh, collaboration with enemy is the most important guarantee of peace. Uh, in Europe, uh, that did uh, German-Frank reconciliation and German-Russia reconciliation and German-Polish and others. We could learn of this strategy in Asia, Japan, China, Korea, and especially we'd like to learn from ASEAN as well. American strategy. So the American strategy and international relation is very, very important after the Second World War. Why Asia couldn't reconcile and why uh, Europe was, uh, could reconcile by the help of American strategy. It is very important. Europe could reconcile with the help of American strategy. Um, first one is a very uh, extreme uh, important uh, political will and political leaders. Robert Schuman, Jim Money, uh, Adenauer, uh, between words, are uh, very important. And uh, Kudenhof Kalelgi, thinking of the European collaboration, uh, eliminated politician and historically uh, existing. The US strategy also very important. US strategy was definitely important in this area. Uh, integrate European Union, uh, European Council and European Union, including German against uh, USSR. Uh, this point is very important because this integration was started uh, against USSR in the Cold War. That is why German Franco reconciliation was realized. Uh, but in Asia, there was no such conditions. In East Asia, of course, we will weak politician policy. Uh, we will have a historical politician for Asian collaboration. Uh, for example, Okakura Tenshin in Japan, uh, Ito Hirobumi in Japan, or uh, Anju Gun, uh, such a great uh, East Asian uh, politician will exist. But after the World War II, uh, occupation policy, uh, Makasa, uh, and Japanese emperor, a weak politician, uh, Yoshida, Ikeda, uh, and other LDP uh, politicians. And Asian continent uh, continued uh, so uh, strong China and uh, Soviet Union uh, power. And there is starting a Korean war, divided and skeptical each other. Second, the U.S. strategy in Asia. U.S. strategy in Asia was dividing policy and antagonism strategy. Uh, perhaps a fear of the influence of communism, very strong Chinese and Soviet Union uh, power. So that uh, U.S. feared Asian common community, excluding uh, USSR. This is a, a definite condition uh, comparing Europe and Asia. In Southeast Asia, uh, it is very important thing. It is similar like in Europe. In Southeast Asia, ASEAN was successful uh, by the help of the US strategy against communism. So uh, what is the difference between East Asia and Europe and Southeast Asia? Um, this is the 
um, very important uh, difference of the U.S. strategy. Um, in East Asia, uh, many presenters said, now there is a pivot of Asia, or a rebalance of Asia. The East Asia is one of the most important places in the United States uh, to uh, maintain uh, their own power, uh, something against uh, Russia or China. If Russia and China collaborate, that is enormous power, perhaps the biggest power in the world. It is a big fear of the US. Second, US needs a foot base in Asia, like Japan, ASEAN, or Korea, and others. Third, that is why MacArthur's strategy, uh, division and rule by United States, by the help of emperor, Japanese emperor, it is useful to use uh, the traditional power and uh, to exclude the communist powers in the Cold War. And nowadays, after the Cold War as well, the China, Japan, Korean integration and collaboration with US is very important. But ASEAN is completely another. ASEAN is collaborate 10 countries together, like European Union, 28 countries, and by the help and support of the U.S. strategy, they can uh, work together with reconciliation. This map shows American strategy, uh, Europe and South Asia versus uh, East Asia. Uh, Europe and ASEAN, uh, integration and against Soviet Union, uh, such a two power is uh, vice versa, uh, Soviet Union and Europe, or Soviet Union and uh, ASEAN. East Asia, divide and rule policy against Soviet Union, China, North Korea, uh, and uh, Korea, Japan, and others. This is a dividing and antagonism policy in East Asia. So, uh, reconciliation in Europe, we have to learn uh, it is very a fundamental issue in the international relations. And we can learn uh, the difference between East and West. First one is german Frank reconciliation started after the Second World War. By such reconciliation, Germany included Europe and got Marshall Fund and joined to the NATO as well. Uh, profit for both German, France, and Europe, and that is why they got the Nobel Prize uh, 2012. Second is the German-Polish reconciliation and German-Russia reconciliation, especially after the Second World War. Started only after the end of the Cold War and not finished yet. Uh, or even doesn't start, uh, but the, uh, slowly the uh, collaboration is starting in Europe. Russia and China were the biggest sacrifice of the World War I and World War II, and they feel injustice and insufficient about that. And Germany wished to make a bridge about that. The reconciliation, um, East Asian reconciliation is uh, similar like German-Polish or German-Russian reconciliation. Um, German-Korea-China reconciliation had a bad condition. Communist China and Korean War uh, disturbed about the reconciliation. But after 1970s, uh, we like to make bridge by Nixon uh, or uh, Jerzynski, um, Brzezinski, uh, Japan, Korea, and China uh, reconciliation. 
So there is a big difference between Asia and uh, Europe. Most difficult thing, Japan-China reconciliation is something like similar German-Russia uh, relation. We could learn from German-Russia collaboration uh, from uh, difference of the difficulty of the German-China relation. China is uh, 13 times huge than Japan, and dif different system, uh, capitalism uh, versus uh, communism. Uh, there is a, a colonization of China and antagonism each other or discrimination and civil war in East Asia. But a power shift start in 21st century and China surpassed Japan GDP in 2010. There is a big power shift in Asia and big power shift Asian and US uh, Europe as well. That's why the antagonism is strengthening, but we can solve this situation. This is a power shift map. In a military, a US is the strongest, uh, EU Asia is something like triangle. But the economy, I already said, uh, Asia is developing, and uh, US, uh, sorry, Japan, Korea, uh, China, and ASEAN uh, some will be surpass the US and EU. Knowledge is the strength uh, in, in the US and EU. Asia is very uh, weak about the knowledge. That's why we have to uh, make training the young leaders learning from Europe or uh, United States as well. Okay. This is an Angus Madison strategy, uh, statistics. Uh, you already know as well. On the 2030, Asia will be uh, surpass the all other countries more than 53% in the GDP. But 2200 uh, years ago, Asia is already more than uh, five, uh, 50%. So the Asian economy is not a miracle, it is returning, Angus Madison said. This is a world GDP in 2010 and 2012. In a nation level, US, China, Japan, uh, and others is a uh, order. But in a regional level, uh, Japan, China, Korea, and uh, ASEAN is uh, already surpassing the US and EU as well. <coughs> so what is the uh, reconciliation in East Asia? Um, the uh, subject is very uh, difficult, comfort women, a historical textbook, and war criminals and others. Uh, but I'd like to say as a conclusion, uh, confidence building, young leaders exchange, and uh, training young leaders is very important. Mutual trust and uh, confidence building in Asia, like learning from the European Union, is the uh, most important thing uh, for us. Mutual discussion and common uh, continuous sustainable uh, collaboration uh, might be uh, found uh, very uh, big uh, collaboration in Asia and Europe. Germany and France is more than uh, 8 million people student exchanged already. And that's why they uh, construct the uh, confidence building. We'd like to make such an exchange of student and uh, mutual trust uh, will be the uh, strong collaboration in Asia. Okay. Last, uh, yes, power shift and the Asian era in 21st <clears throat> century is starting. Uh, some of GDP uh, of uh, Asia uh, might be uh, surface, uh, surpass US and EU. So why not we uh, start uh, reconciliation? We'd like to learn from Europe 
we'd like to learn from German, Franco, German, Polish, and German, Russia reconciliation, we will make the uh, future uh, sustainable development and peace. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. <laughs>